Hey everyone, this is King Kong 1900 and if you have seen my YouTube channel, you'd notice that I made one video and it really helped out a lot of people and it was called how to import MMD models into Blender. So the reason I'm redoing it right now is because I've been getting a lot of questions and messages about, oh, how do you do this or how do you do that? And I really did skip a major part and people are having a lot of trouble with it. And for a long time, I've been telling them, oh, you just do this and you do that. No, that's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a solution. And I'll be working along with you completely because this is Blender 2.78a, which is the new version. I'm downloading it right now. And I currently have Blender 2.77b. So, yeah, what you're going to need is the main thing itself, MMD tools. And I know that's what you all came here for, so let me just quickly get this one over with. I was just going to use that one to import that one here. All right, so let's quickly get Blender. I have to rename it or else it's going to fuck my shit up. All right, so come on. All right, we're gonna download. Um, just go to this little um, little website. I will have that link in the description for all you sexy people out there. Okay, now we have everything we need. So I was like, "Where's my Blender tab?" All right, we're gonna open up Blender. The reason I don't like all constantly like updating and updating is because I have to redo all my shortcuts, all my my little like import my importers and exporters. Uh, I'm really sick today, so I can't. I will be messing up more than I usually do. So, all right, MMD tools. This is how we're gonna download it. Um, the way you would is go to user preferences and all that, but then I would say install from file and everyone would have trouble with that. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to click Blender, the MMD tools, copy this MMD tools folder, then go to this Blender, um, the application, right click and click show package contents. Now click contents, resources, 2.78 scripts, add-ons and there you will paste your item which is our MD tools and you're gonna want to make sure it's there because I remember one time I did it and it wasn't there and it really messed me up for like an hour so we don't need that cube we don't need that lamp all right calm down calm down I'm just preparing the scene So yeah, I'll basically just show you guys everything you need to know about the models themselves. So you know when you're halfway through animating, you you don't just like mess up and the model goes crazy and all that. So uh, once you've done that, you just want to type MMD tools in add-ons, and there it is. It's already checked for me. So recheck that and make sure you click save user settings. Now. That was weird. Now we're gonna go to File, Import, and you'll notice there's two new options. I don't know if that was part of the default importers and exporters, but oh well. So yeah, we have PMD and PMX, and then a motion file, the VMD. Now I've never used this before, and I don't even know if it's like fully compatible yet I mean I think it is but uh, yeah I wouldn't be too sure about that but I know this one definitely is so we're gonna select that and just go ahead and import your model so you'll notice that we have human sizes and then giant size you just click the the just the PMX where it just it doesn't show human or it just ends in PMX it's probably gonna turn out huge so all right, let's, I'm sorry, I just have to quickly, 
this, the materials are annoying me. All right, so now the first thing you notice is, hey, where the hell's my armature? Well, you'll see this little, little plane axis right here, and I don't, I don't know what this is, but I just like deleted it on accident, and I found out, oh my god, here's my armature. So yeah, I have no idea what that is, but if you delete it, and then you go to this panel, you'll see that you have your armature and it's hidden so if you unhide it bam there's your armature easy so yeah the thing I was saying about messing you up is that um, I won't like show you that actual example right now but I will quickly like talk about it um, we're gonna go into pose mode basically if you scale this down right now then went into pose mode I mean your instinct is if you want to scale something down or up, you don't go into pose mode to scale it down, you go into object mode. If you did that right now, you went into object mode, you scaled it down, you went into pose mode, then you start posing it around, it would just, the tail would go long and his foot would be facing the wrong way. He'd be missing like four spikes. It's weird. So I'll show you that later, but right now I want to show you guys, talk to you guys about the facials and stuff. So, but yeah. In case we aren't clear on that, uh, don't go in object mode to scale it down. Go in pose mode, select everything, and then scale it down. Now that way, he's actually not going crazy, but you can still scale him, scale him down, scale him high, upside down, sideways. So, yeah, this is the model, and it's, it looks really good. But if you select it, and you go right next to the materials, you go to this object data box panel. I don't even know what it's called that. I thought it was called shape or something. Uh, you'll notice we have shape keys options. And usually if you have a model that's like day or object, I don't, for the most part, I don't think you'd have shape keys for that. But for this one, we do. And yeah, most MMD models, they have facials they, they're called facials but sometimes they could apply to anything like like we have a character with like this like huge belt of guns and stuff and you want it or like if you have spider-man with his web shooters right and it's like you don't want him to have his web shooters you just click the value and put it to one and you would he'd be without his web shooters so yeah, it really helps you when you're animating. Like, like you don't want to move the bones in every eyebrow, uh, in every like, like the cheekbones and all that, and the lips. It really, it's really annoying. So they already did it for you. Like here we have angry. We just put that up, and he gets angry. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. That's. Pretty much what this model has, but uh, if you've ever downloaded the King Kong model, I mean, I know I have. You know, I'm not a big fan of King Kong. So I was drinking water. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, I downloaded the King Kong model, and it's only once in a blue moon. If I can just get it right and make him look like he's roaring without, like, his his tongue like coming like out of his mouth like out of his chin or something or his his cheek just like exploding it's weird but yeah it's what I'm trying to say is it's really really hard to get that right you know the lips are very tough to do so yeah I guess most I'm just I'm not for Godzilla himself but for most MMD models like character models they have these easy expressions to do. So uh, that's really helpful in the long run when it comes to animating. So uh, we went over facials. We went over how to import it into Blender. Um, I guess now all I have to do is show you why you should always be in pose mode when you scale an object up or down. Now, if we scaled it up right now, 
he's in object mode. We scale him down. And you go to pose him. He goes crazy. He's back to his original size. So, yeah, that's weird, but yeah, just make sure that doesn't happen because, you know, I remember it happened to me one time I was animating, then it just, everything exploded. And I was like, what the hell was happening? And, um, yeah, I couldn't find a way to repair it or not repair it, but just like all of my keyframes were gone. So, yeah, just make sure that doesn't happen. And I think you guys will be fine. Because, once again, this is a really, really good tool to use. This is a really good add-on. Um, yeah, let me show you. It does work with the stages, too. Get the hell out of here. You can cube. Uh, PMX. Now the stages are automatically going to become like really big, like huge, but that's great. You know what, I can't even, I really have to, I'm, right now in my mind I'm debating on, should I just set everything up again or just keep going with um, Blender 2.77? Probably stick with Blender 2.77. Uh, yeah, this is the stage. Now, it's really hard to make stages for me, like in Blender. Just like with the tools I'm given. You know, I have to keep, I have to texture the cubes, I have to um, make the streets. And in the end, it looks terrible, you know? It, it looks like, it just looks like shit. And these stages look amazing. I mean, there's city stages, there's these stages, jungle stages. I mean, I've been looking everywhere for them that are actually in PMD, PMX format. And it's been kind of hard to find, or maybe I've just found all of them, but I really hope there are more for me to use. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is King Kong 9100 signing out. See ya.